What's up people, my name's Sean Reynolds and today I'm going to be helping you get your tracks onto Spotify with Ditto Music. But first, let's just quickly talk about why you want to release your music on Spotify. If you didn't know, Spotify takes up over 30% of all global music subscriptions, which means the potential audience on that platform is considerably larger than anywhere else. If that's not enough, Spotify offers pre-saves, editorial playlist pitching, Shopify integration to help you shift some merch, as well as a ton of brand new features that are going to change the way that your music connects with your fan base. So with that being said, let me show you step by step how easy it is to get your tracks onto Spotify using Ditto. So first things first, you need to set yourself up with a Ditto Music account and good news for all you newbies out there, you get a 30 day free trial so you can try it before you buy it. Otherwise, it's $19 per year to release as much music as you want. So now you're all set up and ready to go, let's release some music. Alright, so here we are on the Ditto Music dashboard. Here you'll be presented with two different options. If your track is an electronic or dance music release, make sure you click that. Everything else hits standard release. You'll then be asked to name your track. My song is called Boss Battle Create. Alright, so this first section is your release information. That includes your track title, which you've just done, your copyright information, your record label and your artist name. So a quick note here about track titles. It is not necessary to put any extra information at this stage. Just type the song name as you want it to appear without any extra details. Next is copyright holder. If you're releasing this track independently, nine times out of ten, this will be your own name and the year that it's going to be released. However, if this track is going to be released on a label, even if it's your own, make sure the name of that label goes in this section instead of your name. After that, you you can choose whether this is an independent release or if it's on a record label and you do that just by using this drop down menu here. Then you can add the artist name or names and also any featured artists that appear on the track. So first off, let's choose our primary artist that is Second Born Music Group. This track doesn't actually have any other artist involved, but let's pretend it does so I can show you what each of these options mean. So first off, hit add another release artist. So then you'll be able to select a new artist. Let's go with Black Prez. Now, if you go to the right where it says primary, you can also select featured and remixer. All three of these options will do slightly different things when your track appears on streaming platforms. For example, if you choose to add another primary Primary artist, the track will appear on both artists Spotify profiles as if they released it both individually, but the track itself will have clickable links to both artists underneath the track name. If you choose to add a featured artist, it will actually show that artist within the track title. However, the song won't appear in the featured artists releases. Instead, the track will be added to the appears on section on that featured artists Spotify page. And finally, if you select remixer, the name of the artist won't appear in the track title, but the track will show up in their appears on section. All right, so moving down we have release artwork now this needs to be at least 3000 by 3000 pixels and in jpeg format so let's go ahead and add that in drag and drop now some quick tips on artwork so that you don't get your release rejected don't include any social media handles don't include any website links don't include any brand or label logos and make sure this is the highest resolution version of the artwork that you can find a good rule of thumb when it comes to artwork is the only text visible should be the artist name and the song title moving on we have release genres now don't feel too pressurized by this sometimes it feels like your track doesn't fit into any genre but this section is purely just to help streaming platforms categorize your music and get it put in the right place so just pick two genres that you think fit your track best or if there are any artists that you think you sound similar to find out what genres they're listing their music under and also don't forget to select the language of your song the next page is where you upload your music now ditto actually accept mp3s as well as waves but i would highly recommend uploading the most high quality version of your song that you can and if you want to get into the specifics your file should be 16 bit 44.1 kilohertz minimum so let's go ahead and upload our master file now once that's uploaded, you can go in and edit some information. For example, here we have the track preview. Now this will correlate to any services that offer a track preview. This is the section of the song that is playable before they can listen to the full song. And make sure you choose this wisely because this is also the section of the song that will play when people use your sound on TikTok and Instagram. This is also where you would add version information. If this was a remix or an acoustic version or a live version, this is where you put it. Scrolling down, you'll see the add another track artist section. Now if you're releasing an EP or an album, this is where you would add 
all the individual featured artists to individual songs, as opposed to previously where we were adding featured artists to the entire release. Then we have the ability to change copyright information for individual tracks, but as this is a single, we're not gonna bother with that. Then you have the option to add your lyrics, and you can either paste them in or upload a document. This is also where you tell streaming platforms if your track contains explicit content. And then lastly on this section, you can add all the people that contributed to the making of this song. Now you don't have to do this, but people are usually pretty appreciative when you do. And then when you're done, hit finished editing track. Now you're gonna to have to answer a few questions that are gonna tell Ditto that you are actually allowed to release this song. For example, I understand my release may be rejected from stores if I don't correctly label tracks as explicit that contain swear words or obscenities. Tick. I am authorized to distribute this music to stores and territories I select. Tick. I'm not using any other artist's name in my name, song titles, or album title without their approval. Tick. And then lastly on this page is the covers and copyrighted materials. Now, if you were using samples in your work or if this was a cover song, then this is where you would upload documentation to support the fact that you've either acquired a license or got written approval from the original owners of the piece of music that you're putting into your work. Now, let's move on to planning the actual release of your music. First things first is your release date. And Ditto actually gives you a few options when it comes to planning your release date. Option one is included in your plan, and that means you can release the track on a specific date of your choosing at least 10 days from now. Option two, you choose a specific date again but this includes a pre-release package where all your pre-release sales go towards your release day sales or option three as soon as possible which can get your track live on most stores within 72 hours now as i mentioned previously spotify has a service where you can pitch directly to their editorial team to hopefully get your track onto their editorial playlists and they say to allow at least 28 days for their editorial team to consider your track so with that in mind we can start to make some decisions on when we want to release this song it's become industry standard to release music on friday that's because most music charts track plays from Friday to Thursday, meaning that you're getting in on day one. So we know by using general information, the one good option is to release the music on a Friday at least four weeks from now. That gives us the 12th of May, 2023. After you've set your release date, you can decide whether you want to apply any geographical restrictions to your song. We're going to go ahead and leave that as no. Then another very cool feature of Ditto is that you can register your music for national or worldwide charts. If you hit yes, it'll give you all the options to consider. All right, people, we're on the last page. First, you want to decide your pricing. But as we're looking for Spotify, we're just going to leave that as medium because it's a streaming site and you don't have to purchase anything. Now we get to choose which stores our song is going to be sent to. But as we're looking for Spotify in this video, let's go for custom selection of stores. Then let's scroll down, find and check Spotify. Then all the way down to the bottom of the page, future and upcoming stores. Should we send this release to new stores automatically when they become available? Usually I would put yes, send this release to all new stores, but as we're just looking for Spotify, let's leave it at no, I'll choose any new stores myself. Add release to basket. Then all that's left to do is double check your title, double check your release date. You can go in and edit anything if you need to do that. Otherwise, hit confirm and process order. And there you go, you're done. Your track is now on its way to Spotify. And as long as you've got Spotify for Artists set up, they'll be sending you an email as soon as it becomes available to pitch to their editorial team. So what are you waiting for? It really is that easy. Go grab yourself a Ditto account, utilize that 30 day free trial and get your music heard on Spotify. Anyway, my name's Sean Reynolds. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the Ditto Music channel if you want to see more videos like this. I hope to see you again real soon. Peace.